Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guide video on kinematic problem solving using simultaneous equations on a Casio FX CG50. As I said in the introduction there, I'm completing this on a Casio FX CG50, but you can use any calculator that has a simultaneous equation solver feature, such as the Casio FX 991EX or similar. I just happen to be using an FX CG50 to show you how that works. Let's take a look at the question. A car travels along a straight road with constant acceleration of a meters per second squared. The car passes point A with a speed of u meters per second. After six seconds, it passes point B, where AB equals 35 meters. After a further 10 seconds, it passes point C, where BC equals 200 meters. And we've got to find the values of A and U. So what we're going to do here is to set up two linear simultaneous equations using the kinematic equations of motion for constant acceleration, sometimes known as the SUVAT equations. And the one that we're going to use is one that I'm sure that you are familiar with, which is S equals UT plus a half AT squared. And we're going to use it for two different scenarios or two different situations based on the information that we've got given in the question there. So let's set up the first situation, which is what is happening between A and B? What's happening with the car between A and B? So let's gather together the information. We know S, the displacement, is going to be 35 meters. AB equals 35 meters. U, we're going to just label as capital U. That's something that we're going to find. V is not going to be required uh, for this situation. A, we're just going to label as A. That's going to be our constant acceleration. And T, well, between A and B, T is six seconds. Let's substitute those into the equation. We've got 35 equals U times six plus a half A times six squared. And if we simplify that, we get 35 equals 6u plus 18a. And that is the first of our two linear simultaneous equations that we're going to get the calculator to solve for us. So let's set up a second scenario. Now, we could set up a scenario of what's happening between B and C, but that would make the initial speed, the u that we use, a little bit more complex. Uh, you can do this if you want, but it might be a little bit easier to think of what's happening between A and C so that we can still use our initial speed, our U, as this capital U that we want to find without thinking about what's happening between A and B before we set up BC. So we're going to set up a situation of what's happening between A and C. So we need to include all the information really that we've got in the question. So our displacement, well, between A and B, it's 35, and B and C, it's 200. So our S for AC is 235 meters. Our U is still going to be capital U that we're looking for. Once again, V is not required for this situation. A, we're still going to label as A, our constant acceleration. And then T, well, across the whole thing there, we've got six seconds between A and B and 10 seconds between B and C, so that's 16 seconds. And we can set this up because the acceleration is constant throughout. Okay, so let's input those into the SUVAT equation. We've got 235 equals U times 16 plus a half of A times 16 squared. And if we simplify that, we get 235 equals 16U plus 128 A. And here we have the second of our two linear simultaneous equations to solve. We've got two unknowns and two equations. So therefore we should be able to solve these and we're gonna use the calculator to help us do that. From the main menu, we need to go down to A or equation and then from equation, you're prompted for what type of equation you want to solve. We want F1 for simultaneous. And then the number of unknowns where well, we've got two unknowns here, U and A. So let's press F1. Now the calculator will work in terms of X and Y. So what we're going to say is that U is X in this situation and A is Y. Uh, so we'll input the values as such. So. For the first equation, we've got 6u, which is 6x, so therefore a is 6, and we've got 18a, which means 18y, which means b is 18, and c is the constant that we've got there, which is 35. 
Let's input the second equation. We've got 16u plus 128a, and then c is going to be 235. So once we've got all the information in there, we need to press F1 to solve. And here we have our values, x and y, so that's u and a, remember. So u is going to be 25 over 48, or 0 0.521 to three decimal places, meters per second. We can give it as, as either there, either the exact fraction or as a decimal approximation. And a is going to be the y that we've got here, 85 over 48, or 1.771 meters per second squared to three decimal places. So there we go, how we can use the kinematic equations of motion to solve the problem that we have here to produce two linear simultaneous equations and then we can get the calculator to solve those for us. Don't forget to like and also subscribe for future videos. But that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time on The Calculator Guide.